Hey, it's Alex here from alexfergus.com. Today, I'm going to talk to you about red light devices and in particular, what you should look for and what you should look out for when it comes to buying red light devices. So, first things first, actually, first things first, if you don't know what red light is, head to alexfergus.com and check out my article on red light therapy. Uh, it's called Everything or the Fascinating Benefits of Red Light Therapy or something like that, alexfergus.com. I'll put a link to it below in the notes so you can check that out. Read that first because it's going to blow your mind. Once you learn about red light therapy, you're going to like, this is the coolest thing ever. Why have I not heard about it? That was me like a year ago, okay? Now I love this stuff. But I've also learned a lot about the market, the brands, the products, okay? And speaking of products, behind me, you can see a red light device. Yes, I just whacked this panel with my fingertip and it kind of hurt. Uh, it's, a, it's a Juve panel device. Full disclosure, I have an affiliate link with them. Uh, coupon code as well. The coupon code's Alex, A-L-E-X. That will give you a discount if you buy a Juve panel and it'll also give me a cutback. You don't have to use that panel, but full disclosure, right? Um, so I've been using that for a while. I've done a review on it. I've noticed massive benefits from using it. Uh, skin, pain, all that sort of stuff. Again, there's a full video and an article on this, so I won't go into, it, into detail and I don't want it to be about the Juve. I've also got another panel here. Sorry, it's not a panel. Now, another red light device here, which I'm gonna turn on right now. And then we've got the Juve panel here. All right, so since buying, uh, since receiving this panel, um, I've learned a lot about red light, okay? And as a result of those articles I just mentioned, a lot of people have asked me, hey, what about this? And can I buy grow lights? Uh, what about these other brands? Which one's best? Why are some of them so expensive when I can find this on eBay? What's the deal, all right? And uh, to be honest, I didn't know at first. I was just like, I, I, I don't know. They, they can't be right, they're cheap. You know, can't, they can't be beneficial. Anyway, so since then, I've done a lot of research, a lot of reading, and I've looked into this. Into this. And here's my takeaway. Here, here are the facts you need to know. One, we know red light therapy works. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of studies on low light, low light, low level laser therapy. I think it's called LLLT, uh, photobiomodulation, red light therapy, light therapy. There, there are hundreds of articles, published articles, papers, showing that it works. Everything from arthritis to acne, you know, it's, it's beneficial, okay? So that's known, all right? But what's important is the wavelength, which is the color, uh, color in the visible wavelength spectrum, but once you get into the uh, non-visible range, such as near infrared, far infrared, um, you can't see that, but it's every piece of, uh, every light wave it has its own unique uh, profile, like wavelength profile, all right? So um, what you need to know is well, wavelength, because different wavelengths have different impacts on the body. So for instance, blue light, which is around that 450-500 nanometer wavelength, that has a stimulating effect on the body, okay? And I've read, written about this in my blog on blue light, how it suppresses uh, melatonin, inc increases cortisol, it's beneficial in the morning. Uh, that's why devices like this, uh, human charger device here, um, you know, you can use them in the morning and it has an impact on the body, all right? Red light, on the other hand, is therapeutic, it's healing, um, maybe relaxing, I'm not too sure. But the key thing is, it heals the body, all right? And there's tons of research on that. So, we know that it works, but what we need to know, it, what, what you need to know when you're looking for a device or looking for a panel is, what is the wavelength? Like, what is the light being admitted? Because there's all sorts of different wavelengths when it comes to red light. Just Google, like, uh, visible light spectrum and you'll see the colors of the rainbow and you'll see how red goes from you know maybe 600 to 750 nanometer light i'm not 100 percent sure but you know you'll see this range right and then when you look at all the studies you'll you'll see that only some of those ranges have been studied and only some of them have been effective in regards to um healing the body okay sorry i'm just trying to pull up an article i had here so i've got the stats next to me uh, anyway, so you need to know the wavelength of the light that the panel is emitting and then you need to know the power density or the power intensity. All right, so let's say we know that red light at 660 nanometers is good for, I don't know, collagen production or wound healing, which, which it is, okay? So we know that 660s. All right, so we go out to the manufacturer and we ask them, does your light emit mid 600 wavelength yes it does 655 great awesome it's in that range that's a big tick but that christmas tree decoration you have or that little like night light you have glowing in your toilet uh i don't know maybe that little torch you have lying around as well 
um, they might put out exactly the same wavelength. They might be 650, 660. Great, right? But there's another thing you need to look out, and that's look out for, and that's power intensity, all right? So just because the light is in that right range, we need to know how much of that power is actually being emitted, all right, and how intense it is. So just like the sun, you know, you can feel that intensity. The sun's an intense light source and a heat source, okay? But that little LED, uh, you know, literally a little LED red light is not an intense heat source, okay? So there's two things you gotta look out for, wavelength and power intensity. Now, with the Juve, which I have here, this is the Juve, combo all right so i've got the fact sheet here that came with it uh my started gu started guide sorry and this isn't meant to be a plug for juve it's just that i have a juve and i like it and if i had some other panel i've got the handheld one i'd be using that as an example um so anyway this one here does 850 once it focuses in here we go does 850 and 650 nanometers now when i turn it on it might be hard to see but you can kind of see a bit of a pattern there, right? So the lights that aren't glowing, at least on the screen, they're your near infrared 850 nanometer lights. Lights that are glowing are the 661, they're in the visible range. Now, on this piece of paper, it's also got your, down here, irradiance numbers, all right? So it's got a milliwatt per centimeter squared number. Now this is important. This is showing how much of that energy is being released, how, how much of that energy is being transmitted. And then Juve go even further. I don't know if it was in here. Uh, it's on their website, I think. And it tells you the ratings at each distance. So right on the surface, you're gonna get maximum power output, right? As you come like two, three, four, six inches back, it drops off. I think it ex exponentially drops off. So if you're standing right back here, you know, like or a meter away from the panel, you're not getting much light, you're not getting much energy on the body. Whereas if you're standing right here, you're getting a lot, okay? So that's another thing you need to look out for, the power intensity of the light source. And then you need to find out, is that power intensity at the device, or six feet back, six inches back, or a meter back, all right? Because that's important. Because some, de some devices may have a really good number, but then they say that's at the source which means you've got to be hugging it the whole time, which you know you might not want to do, and then there's issues with the EMF and all of that. So to summarize, you need to look out for wavelength and power intensity, all right? Now, the other device I have here, this is retails for around $100. It is also 660 and 850 nanometers, all right? And again, I can get all the stats on this, and I know the power intent, power tent, power in density, I don't know if I'm trying to say intensity or density, either one works. But anyway, um, so I know the stats on it, I know the wavelengths, in fact I had this manufactured myself, and it's got right here on the sticker, 850 nanometers and 660 nanometers, and it's two thirds in 660 and one third in 850, right? So I know that, I know that for a fact, and then the lab, the manufacturer that made this, did some uh, testing and sent me the report card on the power density, right? So I know that stuff, which is great. So that's what you need to look for when it comes to devices. Now there are also devices out there, or red light devices out there that um, don't publish their wavelength numbers. That's cool. Uh, personally, I wouldn't buy that because you don't know what you're buying. Uh, so for instance, in my article, uh, The Fascinating Healing Properties of Red Light at, at alexfigures.com, I talk about how some wavelengths in the red light spectrum, namely like around the 700, 750 nanometer wavelengths, there isn't much research showing that they're beneficial. In fact, like they may do more harm than good. I'm not too sure, but there's not there's not much data on it showing that they work, right? But it's a red light. So it'll look just like when I turn this on. It'll look just like that. You won't know, right? So you could spend all this money on a device, you know, a thousand bucks or something on a device that's emitting red light in the 750 nanometer light range but it's not doing what it could be doing if it was 650 nanometers, right? So this is why it's so important to figure out or find out and ask the manufacturer what the wavelengths are in the, in the panel, in the LEDs, what the exact wavelengths are. And it doesn't have to be exact, it could be a range like 650 to 660, that's okay. But if they say, oh, it's in the red light, you know, somewhere between 600 and 800, I mean, personally, I wouldn't buy that because you don't know what you're buying. And it's just like a supplement, right? Like, it's when a supplement comes out and says it's a proprietary, proprietary blend of B vitamins. And you're like, okay, great. 
but then another company will do it's a B, uh, might, might release a B complex where it's like, you know, you get X milligrams of B12, X milligrams of B3, X milligrams of B2, you know what I mean? And you, you can then use that based on your needs. If you know that you have some genetic disorder where, you know, folate acid is, is really bad for you, you know you want to avoid that. But if it's a proprietary blend and they just say, oh, it's all of this stuff and in total you get one gram out of it, you don't know whether 99% of that is like something harmful or something good. Like you don't know that, right? And, and again, some people are fine with that. Just personally, I wouldn't do that myself because you don't know what you're buying, all right? So that's wavelengths. And then the second thing is the, the irradiance, the power density, all right? If the manufacturer's not saying that, it's either because they haven't tested it. And if they haven't tested it, then the chances are they don't really care about their product, right? Because if you were making these, you'd want to test that. So you'd want to show off to the customer, hey, look, this is how much light, you know, we're putting out, right? So you want to check that. If they don't have that number there, they haven't tested it, or they have tested it, and they're embarrassed by the results, and they don't want to share it, or they come up with some crazy marketing idea where they figured they'd hold all that data for themselves and not share it. Um, and again, like for me, those are warning signs, right? Like it's almost like going to buy a car and they say, you know, we're not going to tell you the engine size and we're not going to tell you the mileage, but we can tell you it's good. And you're kind of like, well, you know, I, I'd really like to, I believe you and my friends over there said it's a good car, but I would like to know the engine size and it would be nice to know the mileage because maybe you tested it, it was really bad and that's not why you're telling me. Do you know what I mean? It's just, for me, it's just not something that sits well. So when you're looking at red light therapy, we know for a fact that red light works. We know the, the wavelengths that work and are beneficial to the health. And we know how much energy you should be getting. You know, we, we know the power and density numbers, right? And how much exposure the body should be getting. And those three things are all covered on my article, alexfergus.com, which I'll link below. I'm not gonna explain today because I've already explained it. But again, we know the wavelengths, we know the power density, uh, and I can't even remember what I'm saying now. But anyway, so once you know those things, buy something that matches up with those, right? Now, if you can find a grow light, if you can find some, I call them knockoffs, though they might be coming from the same manufacturer, if you can find a light on eBay or Alibaba or AliExpress or Amazon that has verified power density numbers, that has the right wavelengths that you're after, <clears throat> buy it. I mean, why not, right? Why pay five times, 10 times more for a label? Um, do you know what I mean? Like go back to that car analogy. Let's say you wanted to buy, I don't know, like a Porsche or something. And then right next to it was a car that looked like a Porsche, had all the same specs. You get the reports on fuel performance, power, you know, not to a hundred speed. Everything comes back exactly the same as the Porsche, but it doesn't have the Porsche logo and it's like one tenth of the price. You might be tempted to get that. Maybe that's a bad example because a lot of people pay a lot of money just for their badge, badge. So maybe that is a bad example. But hopefully you get what I'm saying, right? If you're just looking at the health benefits, wavelength, power density, power density that's what you're after. So uh, to answer the question, can you buy these grow lights? Can you buy these Alibaba, AliExpress, eBay lights? Um, sure. Just make sure you do the research and make sure you know it's a quality device. If they're not admit, if they're not sharing any numbers then I probably wouldn't. Uh, the good thing with brands like Juve, they happily share all their numbers. You know, it's right here on the document. You can go on their website and get all the information. You can see all those numbers, right? It's right there. Other brands who are charging, you know, just as much, maybe a little bit less, uh, they might hide all these numbers from you, in which case that sends alarm bells ringing. And then if you get something like this, which I just got a box of 10 off from AliExpress or Alibaba, I got a 10, I got them made specifically for me. Uh, I chose the lights. I got 660 and, and uh, 850, two thirds going to 660. Um, if you can buy them at cheap price and you know that they're good wavelengths and the good out, power outputs, then again, do that. I mean, just go on with your buddies. Like, why not? Um, but if you like the convenience and everything, I am gonna do a little plug here. If you like the convenience and you want a full size panel, and you just want the simple option of buying it online, go with something like the Juve. Um, use code Alex, A-L-E-X, you'll save some money. I'll get a little bit of money. Um, otherwise, do some research and you can probably save even more money by finding, going straight to the manufacturer and, and cut out the middleman because that's what I've done with, with this beast. Oh, it's not really a beast, it's actually quite small. 
It's actually really good. So, by the way, while I'm here, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do my morning session with the panel, but I, I get tooth sensitivity, right? And I've noticed that this is really helping with my, my teeth. And also, I want to I see if I can get some hair regrowth. So what I used to do was like front on, side on, back on, and then I'd do my cheeks. Now I can just go front on and hold this, or front on and do my head, or back on and do my nostril and my chest and belly button if I want to do those things. So anyway guys, that's enough from me. Hopefully that answered your question of, of like what red light panel you should buy or shouldn't buy. Um, really, It's really simple, at the end of the day, you want to know wavelength, you want to make sure it matches with the wavelength you're after, and you want to know power density. If you can't get those numbers, then effectively you're, you're taking a risk. And I'm sure these panels will work, but if you're, if you're paying really like bottom dollar for something that doesn't have these numbers, you're probably going to find out it's not really doing much good. So that's all for me. Check the show notes below because I've got heaps of articles on red light. Uh, I've got that discount code for the Juve. Um, I have got my reviews on other products. And also uh, head to alexfigures.com. I've got lots of content like this. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. If you like these reviews and if you like learning more about health, wellness, biohacking, tools, etc., hit subscribe if you're on YouTube. Sign up to my email list if you're on my site. And peace out. And I've got to run away and quickly have a shower because I'm going to see Star Wars tonight. Bye.